So Malachi, can you please share with us how did you uh, came back to the Lord? Because I know that you grew up in a Christian family and share with us how did you came back to the Lord and what were the things that you struggled and went through in your life? So when I decided to give my back, uh, give my back, give my, well, I did because in worship you, you show him your back, which is, anyways. Uh, so when I came back to the Lord, um, I decided to do it wholeheartedly. And actually, it was, it was quite a difficult road. Uh, I began to see a lot of things go for the bad. And it was only because first I was like, well, God, why is all these things happening that are bad? But I was, I was seeing it the wrong way. Um, the Lord began to show me a, a lot about it. Your, your perception, your mind, and how you see things. And so the reason why a lot of bad things were happening, and I was like, Lord, what's going on? I thought, I thought when I would serve you and I'd give my life to you that you washed away all sin. He said, yeah, 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 yeah. I washed away all sin, but there's still things that you're keeping inside. And I'm like, oh, right, right. Uh, there was also things that I needed to deal with because if he just took it all away, but then what's the, what's the point of faith when there's nothing that's coming against you? You know, what's the point of, of overcoming something and knowing what it's like, knowing God's goodness, without having anything to overcome. And so I begin to have more strength, I noticed, in, in prayer and in worship. Um, Could you please mention what are the specific things that you told me about you struggled in life? So I struggled a lot with uh, depression. Um, a couple times I tried to commit suicide. I, I still have scars you know, on my body um, that remind me of the victory uh, of, of what, you know, through Jesus' blood and through his promise that I overcame. Um, uh, but also, I, I also struggled a lot with uh, addiction to, to alcohol, and then um, I sold drugs, and I was actually addicted to that. Um, and so... Uh, Imagine that, yeah. Malachi. <laughs> yes, dope to, from dope to hope, so yes, from glory to glory. Um, for, but, for how long were you struggling with uh, alcohol and drug addiction and the depression that was going on? Uh, for, for, for drugs, I mean, my, one side of my family, they're very big drug, drug lords. Um, and so that was very easy. Um, and so I did that for about two years. And that was kind of really through high school, um, senior year-ish. Um, and then through alcohol, with alcohol, I struggled with about three years solid. That's, that was my life. It was drinking and just doing whatever and, and all that crazy stuff. And so what happened? How did you came back to the Lord and how did you receive your deliverance from those addictions and depression? Yeah, actually uh, at the time, and he's still very, very close to my heart, um, I, I was going to a church with uh, uh, Prophet Joey Zamora and uh, still very much of a, a father figure in my life spiritually. And uh, he spoke into me and it was about surrounding myself with people who were like-minded, not with where I was at, but where I need to be and what, where God wanted me to be. And so he, uh, with the help of other people speaking into my life, godly people speaking into my life, I began to change my surroundings and that began to change my habits. And so the power of what you change around you will also, it's like the mirror effect. You know, what, what you put on yourself is what you're going to see. There's no other pretty way to say it. But, but at the end of the day, it was still your decision yes. that you made, that you surrounded yourself with the people who pulled you out. Absolutely. It was, it was very hard, but I made the decision and uh, changed my friends, changed my job, and changed a lot of things, and actually put it in the hands of God and allowed him to do things. Stand still and know that he is God. For the battle's not yours. The battle is the Lord's. Come on. Come on. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. And... Now, Malika, how long it's been since you are free from depression and addictions to alcohol and drugs? Uh, addictions to alcohol and drugs would be about seven to ten years, give or take. There was... You know, obviously, times where I would I would struggle with it, but obviously, I overcame that. And then uh, with depression, that was about six years ago, um, last time. Um, and since then, I mean, God has just been so good and has shown me a love that it's just beyond what I could even ever imagine. That is so amazing, amazing. Thank you, Malachi. Can you please maybe share a word of advice to people who may be struggling with depression at the moment or addictions? What can you tell them? Yeah, I mean, um, in the very simplest form, and even in the word, faith without works is dead. So you need to continue having faith. If you're battling depression, even if people have said things to you that have, you, you're, you say, well, you know what, that's not who I am, and you do this, but yet on the inside you're crying. That's where you still need to walk 
you need to begin to, every single day, speak the word of God over your life. Speak to that man or that woman in the mirror and say who you are, not who you're not. Because everybody else in the world can tell you who you are, but if you don't believe that, then you'll go nowhere. So what I want to say to you is in, 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 a, in a place to where to encourage you is to speak into your existence that which God wants in your life. And the only way to do that is by prayer and the word. Amen, amen. Put your hands together. Thank you so much, Malachi. Thank you for Thank watching you. this content. I hope this was a blessing to you. If you're like me and you like to click on things, click on this, subscribe to our channel, and the content will come to you every time we post it. And remember, the best is yet to come.